AFC Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzana, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. Today I'm going to share some behind the scenes footage of our training from this past week, as well as give you some insights into the program design. Let's get to that footage. So in addition to the weekly physique update videos that I'm posting every Friday, these little uh, weekly recaps of my training, how the, the training has been going throughout the week are going to be a big help in measuring my progress. I'm always looking for different details that are popping out with uh, my physique while performing certain exercises. So here I'm checking out the vascularity there and each week I'll be kind of looking at more vascularity, uh, more little veins branching off the, the main veins there that are running up and down my arms and shoulders. And here for Mike, I'm looking at his rear delts popping out, the details in his triceps. Uh, he's looking really good right now, probably best shape uh, that he's been in a very long time, maybe even his life. Um, and Rick and I have been talking lately about how like he's really at a point where each pound that he drops right now, we're going to see some serious details popping out. It's going to be very exciting to see those changes going on with his body. Now here Rick is performing a different variation where the cables are back behind him. Something that I saw, I think Ryan Fainley uh, performing a few weeks ago. I thought, hey, let's give it a shot, see how it feels. Uh, Rick seems to enjoy it. Takes some of his, just a different feel for his shoulder. He feels more comfortable to him. I prefer the cables in front, but just something, a little different variation. And here Rick is performing the incline Dumbbell bench press, you can see his range, it's it's okay. Uh, you can see a little wrap around his elbow. He's had some elbow issues, so what he's doing here is kind of shortening the range a bit, and he's going out a little bit wider. Hands are angled a little bit, uh, so he's still feeling some great tension in his pecs, and it's kind of taking the elbow uh, uh, of the equation there. When he goes a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit lower, that's when the elbow starts aggravating him. So he's getting that work done, and in the meantime, kind of making little modifications to uh, to help him get through it. And here we got Santina absolutely kicking butt, Colin in the background, ready to spot her. So she's she's pushing it hard and giving it everything she, that she's got here. Uh, absolute joy to train with. I'm telling you, man, girl power in our group is outstanding. Really helping, actually helping us guys step up our game and taking things to the next level. Now here with myself, uh, what I've been doing is going a little lighter with the weight. I mentioned that in the previous video and working more through the full range of motion and even getting little brief pauses in the bottom and making sure that I'm engaging that muscle before I actually lift the weight. So contract the muscle and then um, push it upwards. So it's been feeling really good and really, I mean, I'm doing it right now in part because when I'm in a deficit, there we got Colin doing some big lifts in the side there. Um, in a deficit, I just, I don't have my strength. It's not up to par with what it's like when I'm in a surplus. So if I'm gonna be going a little bit lighter, I might as well just go a tiny bit lighter than that and really make sure I'm working through that full range and really just controlling things. I just find that I'm performing a hell of a lot better with it. So now on to our split. So this day we're doing a day one in our plan. It's a three day plan. Day one is chest and back and we'll reverse the order. It's a three day plan and we're in the gym six days a week on most occasions. So the first go around, we'll do day one through three and we'll start with the chest portion of the workout and then the back portion afterwards. When we go to the second round, um, we will start with the back portion and then on to the chest portion. So day one is chest and back, three exercises per body part. And day two is shoulders and arms. So shoulders, biceps, triceps. Once again, here with this video footage, I'm paying close attention to the details here. So really gonna be looking forward to seeing um, Mike's improvements there as he leans out. Really gonna be looking forward to seeing the details popping out in my back here, kind of looking for a little back vantage coming in over the next couple of weeks. And uh, tricep portion, so Mike's got fat grips here. That's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying fat grips with a tricep press down. It's uh, it's a totally different feel, and uh, I find it's easy on the joints, and uh, I don't know, just a different kind of pump. So day one is chest and back. Day two is shoulders and arms. Day three is legs, and here we got Santina doing the Romanian deadlift. We're going for eight to 10 reps on this. 
And uh, this is the third exercise in the movement. It's definitely different performing Romanian deadlifts when your legs are fatigued. Sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge to really get that mind-muscle connection going with the hamstrings. Uh, whereas if it's in the beginning of the workout, I find I can get uh, create a lot more tension in those hamstrings. Today, I just decided to do something a little different, go over to the T-bar. And uh, this is one of my favorite methods of performing the Romanian deadlift is using this T-bar apparatus feels absolutely amazing. So in addition to that three day plan on off days, so we, had, we hit shoulders on day two, but on day one and day three, we are including some extra shoulder work as well. So shoulders are getting a little extra work. They can take more frequency. Uh, so all we're doing is taking like one or two exercises and just performing it to complete exhaustion. So doing some extended rest pause sets. So here, face pulls, I hit uh, like 12 reps initially, and then five seconds rest, doing as many more reps as I can, five seconds rest, as many more reps as I can, just absolutely burning out those rear delts. <laughs> it's, and definitely rear delts are getting a little extra work more than anything else uh, for the shoulders with the extra work, just because they tend to be a little lagging area uh, with a lot of people. So here on the chest supported rear delt fly, I am into the disgustingness. So extended rest pause, we refer to it disgusting because we just make these sets absolutely disgusting. You can see at the end here, I just finished with even with partials, just trying to keep all that tension on those rear delts and it's absolutely sickening. So recap, day one, chest and back, day two, shoulders and arms, day three, legs. Oftentimes we'll take a day off after that. Uh, and then repeat it again. And uh, but most times we're in the gym six days a week and absolutely loving it. It's uh, this actually one of become one of my favorite splits. And uh, we'll be continuing with this kind of split for the next um, well this this month completing this month the plan and then another eight weeks afterwards. So two different phases where we're following the same kind of split, just changing different techniques that we're using different rep ranges and um, just having a lot of fun as we're progressing. Probably gonna be reducing, not, not probably, definitely gonna be reducing the rest periods as we're going along. So very excited. It's been a great week of lifting and uh, we are actually gonna be making a change next month. So next week will be a, a different plan, but same split as I just mentioned. Hope you enjoyed this footage. Catch you next time for a food journal.